Hello, my fellow kumquats, I'm Mr. Church. If you don't know what a kumquat is, believe me, it's not what you think it is. Today, we're going to be building south of Big Ben Tunnel in a cave that I found that I didn't know existed. If you already knew it existed, that's nice. Congratulations. Would you like a sticker? Nice. I've got a collection here, but you can't have it. Sometimes some mobs will spawn up here on the top of this cave. What you want to do then is you take out your weapon and kill it. That's the point of a survival game. And if you don't like uh, killing mobs, maybe you should play Roblox. To, as you can see, looking inside, it's a very nice cave. There's plenty of room in here. There's these lootable boxes with bloat flies in it. There's dead bodies, which I love to spruce my house up with personally. And up here, there's some space as well. I think the plan today is we're just going to bury our house kind of the same way that Bethesda buries all of the community's complaints and suggestions. As deeply as you can do, and uh, let's try not to ever see it again. Thank you. Now what we're going to be doing in here is we're going to be attempting to build as many of the crafting benches that we need. The, I mean, we're not going to be able to fit them all because of my uh, a need to decorate but we're going to fit as many as we can there's plenty of space see up here there's a spot there's that little vaginal opening of land which is probably not the technical name for it but that's what we're going to go with okay so what we need to do is cover this floor so we can uh put stuff on top of it you see also let me maybe yeah, so what I've done is I've put these big carpets down here. See how they're very nice and thin? Uh, you want to use these carpets, not Adam Shop carpets, which all tend to be very fat and they stack up. You want them to be thin so they, uh, you can kind of overlap them without it getting all staircasey. I'm going to build some more lights so that I get crucified less often by people saying that it's too dark for them to see. Now, if I wanted you to see what I was doing, probably I... Would have turned my Pip-Boy light on, but that's neither here nor there. What we're going to do once I've done that is probably spend a few more hours putting rugs down because that's what makes me happy. So as you can see, we got this. these carpets are down and I'm going to uh, place this second carpet underneath the first one. It's a lot easier if you do this the other way around, honestly, but I like to do things in a difficult manner. The reason I'm doing this is we want to make a little step across the front of these carpets to hide that empty space. I'm going to move this. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to take the green toolbox, stash box, and place them across the front, and they will float. They don't want to sink down into the ground. If you, if you sink some carpet bits under the earth, however, and then place them on that carpet, they will sink down into the ground so we can get them all on the same plane across the front here. So as you can see, uh, when I put this down here on the front, the nice thing about these boxes is when you walk up to them, you don't trip on them, you automatically walk up over them. But as you can see right here, I can do this, which sinks that corner into there a little bit. Otherwise that would have popped up and it would have they would have all been uneven. We want them to all be on the same plane. I'm gonna move some of these carpets back because this, this corner here sticking out, I want them to all be flat on the front here but yeah it's it, it's a little bit of a annoyance but this is really the only tricky part of this build and really only the structural part of this build too there's very little besides this once you get this done making the rest of the structure will be so much easier uh, because everything will be on that flat floor so i don't i didn't like how this looked i wanted to make it a flat spot you can do this if you want you can just leave it however you want it as long as that hole underneath is covered i don't really care neither should the irs or the house inspectors when they come to check it out so i will add something else uh that i mentioned earlier i didn't fit all of the work benches in here but i could have uh if that's all i put in here but it's a very limited space so i thought i'm gonna put the work benches that i use the most in here and any other benches that i need I'll just make sure there's some that are over at the Big Bend. Because Big Bend has um, the Power Armor workbench, 
it's got the armor workbench it's got a weapons workbench um all over there and it's literally like five feet you just run north and it's right there um like if they're so close you can hear them screeching all night long when they have their dumbass parties and stuff so yeah that looks way better as a straight line but anyway if if you want to put them all in here you can definitely fit them but it'll be hard fitting anything else um that's just what happens when you're building in a small cave that you're burying under the ground just like the tombs uh the hope uh, of your childhood that has been killed so uh yeah just make sure the ones you do put in here are the ones you're going to be wanting to use and then the other ones make sure that they're over at big ben tunnel um honestly the only workbenches I ever, like, need are the weapons and armor and occasionally the tinker bench. But, like, in a pinch, you pretty much just need the weapon and armor, usually just to repair stuff real quick. Um, if you're a power armor build, you probably don't want to build in a cave anyway because it's a tight fit and you're going to be big and bulky. No offense, but there's going to be some oboe music playing when you're walking around. And... That's completely fine. I personally like oboe music, and I don't understand why you're crying so hard about my comment. It, it's, to be fair, a very nice place for oboe music, just not for power armor. If you have no idea what I'm talking about at this point, join the club. Today we're going to be uh, also building a front door so that our cave has, you know, some form of dignity. To do this, I've built this like this. The reason I did that was so I can sink the gate down deeper. Otherwise, this will be much higher up. And then what I did was put... Well, I tried to put the wall there. And it says no. I thought maybe I'll do that. That could be cute. But then upon looking at it with my fucking eyeballs, realized that it wouldn't in fact be cute at all it would be repulsive so i deleted it unfortunately not ev everyone has these abilities to use deductive reasoning along with eyesight and they continue to build with the red barn set and that's completely fine it is a free country for the most part because all of the civilizations and law enforcement has been destroyed so obviously you can do whatever you want and that means building with god awful red barn sets and that's fine I enjoy that, and the freedom of choice is something I support, so you just keep on doing that. And um, I will just go to the eye doctor more often. That's fine. I'm just going to be putting this in there. So what I did was I, I broke the wall, and then I did this for a little bit, for literally what I can think of as no reason. And then I took this post and I kind of overlapped it in here to fill the space up. Um, and then I fixed this one day. I mean, I, I've, I'm sure I tried to put one on this side and it didn't work. And that's, I guess, what's happening now. And then I just repaired this, which you need to do to open it. And then that's, that's good enough for me. You can probably make this a little neater, but it's a bitch. Now, it's easier if you place this down and then move it around, but we're going to use this as a wall to cover up the edge because the carpets are really um, good for flooring, but you kind of want to cover up the edge. In those filing cabinets you see over there, I didn't show myself putting down filing cabinets. For one thing, I didn't want to insult your intelligence to like show you how that could be done. You just put the filing cabinet down on the floor using the action key with aiming with your controller or mouse as needed. And also, the second reason is I end up getting rid of most of those because I ended up putting a workbench in, the, in that spot because I had to sacrifice some of my design for workbenches. But this is how I put the wall. Uh, and then I want a staircase in the back. But I, I put the... There's another wall here I'm going to put. Um so that we can have kind of a divided area of love and wonder, joy and harmony, and all the other words that you've come to associate with me and my channel over the past couple of horrific minutes. Now, let's come back here. 
up there, we can definitely use that space. So I'm going to go into my um, stash boxes and I'm going to look for the suitcase of dreams. Um, this is a suitcase of dreams because I'm dreaming that one day I can pack my suitcase and fucking leave my room after uh, uh, the coronavirus is not bad anymore. And what I'm going to do is stack up some staircases like this and then walk up them a little bit. And then I'm going to look down at what I've done and say, well, God, I can't do it from this angle. And then what I'm going to do is delete this wall that's in the way. And uh, to be honest, now, like in retrospect, this probably could have been edited out. So I do apologize. I realize that you have a choice of YouTube videos to watch. And I appreciate that you've watched mine. At this point, I realized I should put the clasps on the back. Because, let's face it, we're not barbarians. So, I switched, you know, flipped it around. It was fun. I enjoyed that part. Very fun, you know. It filled me with this deep sense of joy when I did that. So, I really wouldn't want to, you know, take that away from you. If you are looking for something fun to do on a Friday night, spinning the suitcase around is probably top on the list. And that took a little while. Not because there was lag. But um, I just chose to wait there and look at it, salivating slightly just off the corner of my mouth. And as I began to feel that spittle hit my chin, I was like, maybe I should do something. So then I clicked X and the, and the suitcase went down. And I was like, well, God, I've done something. And I am so sorry at this point if you're still watching this. Because I usually I speed up the video when I'm building structures. And uh, for some reason, I just didn't this time. Um, it just, I think that you should appreciate how much, uh, yeah. there's no excuse for it. Just to be honest, it's just what it comes down to is shoddy craftsmanship. And that's, that's a disappointment. And I've let you down and I apologize. Okay. I apologize Profusely. Pro fusely. So now that gets us up here, kind of. You do do a jiggle step walking up, but it's nothing that a little uh, sunshine oil can't fix. Let's uh, cover this back up, but first, let's take this uh, generator and place it on this dead man in the roots over here. Um, eh, it's just for fun. Yeah. But in case we need power later, we can have one back here under the staircase. This is our Harry Potter generator here. And it can live there under the stairs, being abused and neglected by its only blood relatives. Uh, let's, uh, please just, God, everything sucks. I gotta pre-warn you, building in a cave, I, I mean, I like how it turned out and everything like that. But you will have to be prepared. Like, don't do it if you're not drunk. Don't do it if you're around children, small animals, or other kickable objects, because there will be frustration involved. And, by the way, I am obviously not condoning violence against small and helpless creatures. That's why I'm suggesting you don't do it when they're around. You will feel frustration and rage, and this means that you need to control those rage, and you also need to think about your surroundings and put yourself in good situations. Okay, that's just life advice, and that's free. Now, uh, we come inside, and it looks fine. And when I say it looks fine, I mean I'm probably going to change that later and not tell you about it. Up here, I've uh, put some lights up here. Uh, I've used these um, colored lights, which have to be wired to the generator. Um, and they automatically start off as red. And so down here, I put the terminal and connected that to the terminal. I don't know why I'm saying terminal like that, but uh, it sounds annoying, so I'm sorry. But this terminal, you can change the coloring, and now I'm just going to cover up this guy because he was looking at me, and he was mocking my work, and that made me feel threatened and small. 
but then when I put the carpet down, it didn't end up covering up his face after all, and he was still looking at me, and it made me feel very weak and powerless, and I realized that no matter what I do, I will never be able to live up to other people's expectations, and that made me feel much smaller. If at this point you're beginning to cons be concerned about, you know, me, that that's fine. I assure you, uh, sarcasm does exist on this earth, and maybe I have some of it. It's not something to worry about, and I am fine, completely and totally fine, which I probably shouldn't have said in the same sentence as the one where I was talking about how I was sarcastic as all fuck. I apologize for any confusion, but this is just to cover up that nasty edge there where the carpet hangs over so let's move that put this back and you can make it go all the way down if you want I don't really care because everything's being hidden uh, behind this stuff and because I don't you know basically no one loves me who's gonna come and look at my camp anyway it's not like I set up vending machines I ran out of vanilla clothing and uh, sun masks to sell also these little areas over here you can't really put stuff down on them because it doesn't want to. It intersects with the ceiling. But if you put a small carpet down, it then lets you put stuff on the carpet. It gives it a snapping point. doesn't confuse it anymore. And you can do this on both sides. Uh, one of the things you could do, if you wanted, is you could put a sleeping bag or a bed over there. But you have to put the, the carpet down first. Um, because it doesn't, it doesn't want to... And nothing wants to go over there. Unless you have a carpet. But with a carpet, you will be able to put down most things that would fit in that area normally over here i have a wall built outside i'm going to put stuff on this shelf out here and then i'm going to bring the shelf inside because that's way easier than like trying to get stuff to go where i want it there's a lot less screaming and the drywall in my mom's basement gets punched way less so all around i'd say it's a win most people like it better when I do it this way, especially my mother and my father, who's the one, let's face it, who's going to have to fucking fix the holes in the drywall. By the way, I don't actually live in my mom's basement. That's a joke. Jesus fucking Christ. I, I wouldn't punch the walls in my mom's basement. They're, they're basically made out of rock, and I don't have that ability to punch the rocks that would hurt very bad very bad indeed god i do realize at this point you know that you probably have better things to do with your day so if you're still watching this i really appreciate it but believe me the finished product is worth your time if you skip ahead that's fine like i can't blame you at this point i mean i will cry and uh you know delete my channel but it's i understand why you're doing it. i would too I, I can't blame you um i usually don't show decoration for this reason like i usually cut to when i'm just like showing the finished product because i have adhd and uh, ocd and then i start like thinking about oh no maybe not this face maybe this face uh, i don't know <laughs> so it takes a while but this part, I decided to show you because someone in the comments is going to be like, how'd you put the vase there? And then I'll be like, well, I did this, you know, and I guess that would be easier than what I just did. So I don't know why I didn't do that. But this is the finished product. So let's walk up to the gates, knock on the door, and see if anybody's home. Whoa. So as we come inside here, you're going to see, uh, first of all, we've got a very nice open floor plan. And... You may notice I changed that back wall. It was a little too closed off and claustrophobic. So I switched it out to a stacked bookshelf, which I made a blueprint for outside and then built the blueprint in here so I didn't have to stack them in here because that'd be a lot harder. Now you may be thinking you won't be able to use this workbench because that's in front of it, but you'd be wrong. Obviously, you know, if something's four feet on the other side, you can't use the workbench. But if something's directly blocking it, then of course you you can use the workbench um over here we have the cryptid hunter's weapon you know if something comes we can grab our thing and then we have boris over here la laughing and mocking us as we work 
I put this special here because we need it and also it helps us to not fall down into that hole where you get stuck forever. If you're over encumbered, you literally will be stuck. You will have to switch servers or move all your stuff, which I'm not going to do because that's too much work. Yeah, but like over here, I also I ended up changing that top bookshelf and getting rid of that as well and putting a radio on the top. Just I kept tweaking it to kind of make it more and more open in here because you have a little bit of space and you really want to maximize that. And part of that is keeping the floor plan as open as possible. Um, but you still want to clutter it with livable stuff and have it be functional. But anyway, thank you so much to my patrons and to my supporters and to you, loyal viewer. If you are made it this far, please consider uh, subscribing if you haven't already. And of course, that's a joke. Why would you do that? I mean, you just saw what just happened. But anyway, get ready for a big bang because I forgot to turn the volume down on this outro clip and it's going to blast your ears off. But I'm going to see you in the next goddamn video.